So this is my, my champ head, and these actually don't really exist. Fender never made these like this uh, back in the silver face era. I know they make a champ head now, it's a little different, but um, what I did, I had originally one of the champ combos, and it comes with just a little eight inch speaker, or sometimes six inch speaker, and it's awesome for recording in your house, a little practice amp, um, and then one day I took the speaker out, which is an RCA out under the back, and put it into uh, this cab back here, which is a 212, upright 212 cab, and this tone just opened up for me. It was like a whole new amp. And so I thought, well, man, why don't I just make the champ into a head? And so I took the chassis out, and then uh, I went onto some Telecaster guitar forums online and found someone who, who built me this box uh, to the kind of like the specs of the old uh, blackface, silver face era. And um, I know it's not exactly period correct uh, grill cloth and, and logo, but it's pretty close. And so I had, uh, also had my amp tech, Paul Morte in Orange, California, put in a quarter inch out on the back for the speaker. Because usually the, the speaker out is right under here where this arrow is, and it's an RCA. But if you're on tour with this thing, um, it's just so much easier to have a quarter inch out like your other amps to go straight into the cab. Um, I think it kind of pained him a little because he likes to keep things pretty stock in vintage amps if he can. Uh, so he kept it working so that this, both of them work. So I can put this back into a combo if I want to and, and use it as a combo. But uh, I don't know, I don't think I ever will because the thing just sounds so cool uh, through a 212. And I usually use it in uh, tandem with another uh, 212 cab with a basement head. And you can have this thing just dimed at 10 and it's only about equivalent to like one and a half on a basement. So it's a good complement to another like a second amp that you have on stage. But it also sounds really good in the studio through, through the 212. And I've used that a lot as well. It's a one of a kind amp and I'll take it on the road because if I'm not taking it on the road and using it, I don't want it just sitting around. I, I love how it sounds. I don't want to play it live. And I figured if I did it once, if it got stolen, I could do it again, build another one. I mean, you know, my gear I like to play and use and there's hardly anything that I just, just leave at home. So that is like a late 60s um, Fender 212 upright cab. And they only made those for a few years, like the late 60s, early 70s, to go with like either the Bassman or Showman or Dual Showman or Bandmaster heads. And as soon as I bought one of those uh, and played through it, it was such a unique sound that, that I had to have more. So I bought off a couple more. They sound so awesome. And, but I have, I've, had to, I've done a little work to those as well and to the other cabs like that I have. And I switched out the speakers for Celestians and Vintage 30s and I rewired it. And there are two 8 ohm speakers in parallel which gives a 4 ohm load. And for, for some reason 4 ohms to me is the, sounds the best for Fender heads. Uh, it's kind of matched to most of the, the heads like a basement or a champ. And um, I rebuilt the baffle on that one because over 40 plus years, the thing started falling apart a little. So I went down to Home Depot and had them cut me some wood and then, uh, you know, had stretched the grill cloth over it again and, and, and rebuilt that baffle so it's super solid right now. <laughs> <laughs>